Is it you? Is it you? Can you wave? Can you say hi? Say hi. Hi. <laughs> yeah, we're live. Yay. Welcome to the second episode of Poems at Home. Um, we're very excited to be with you today, especially Callie. Yeah. I'm going, yes. I'm going to preface this video by saying that Callie is a little cranky. She's very tired and won't go to sleep. Um, I tried to put her for a nap, but she just really wanted to say hi to all of you guys. She wants to touch the computer, which is you know, not the best. Um, but hopefully everything goes well. She'll be fabulous. We're all going to have a great time. Right, baby? Oh, yes. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to everybody a little bit about Skills Canada. So Skills Canada is a partner that we have who I've been working with for years now. Even before I started, my dad worked with Skills. Hi, there, they're saying hello. Say hi, Debbie. Uh, my dad worked with Skills Canada. My brothers work with Skills Canada. Yes, I generally try. Well, this is going great. I generally try to work with them um, twice a year, but you just want to touch the computer. But um, with pregnancy and then my filming schedule, it's been a little bit difficult the last little while. Um, please be good. I hope, um, hi, I hope uh, some of you have kids and you can understand how I'm feeling right now and how this is going. Like, oh, yeah, now she laughs, it's perfect. <laughs> Um, so, Skills Canada. This year, unfortunately, because of COVID-19, um, they had to cancel their event in May, which is so sad. Um, kids look forward to it every year. It's the most amazing event. It's like a rock concert. Um, but Skills Canada is such an amazing, an amazing partner for us because what they do is really promote youth for uh, skills trades in the youth. So, a lot of people when you're in, or kids when they're in high school. Well, um, or even in elementary school, they don't really know what they want to be when they get older. And, you know, I was one of those kids. And I had no idea what I could do for a career. You're saying hi to everybody. You're so sweet. What I could do for a career and what was going to be best for me. And it was really just a lack of knowledge. Um, I wish that I knew. I wish that Skills Canada was around for me when I was that age. I'm not going to tell you, you know, how long ago it was. I'm a little old now. But um, I'm lucky that I had my father around for a mentorship who could kind of explain what a career in the trades would be like. Um, every, I feel like it's September, October, generally um, Skills puts on an event and it's called Try a Trade. And they have kids from elementary schools come in and they get to try different trades. So whether they're using power tools or fixing windshields, um, they're, you know, trying pottery, any kind of trade, any essential trade really. Um, it's pretty amazing because it's too late you've been upstaged by your kid. I'm always upstaged by my kid, okay? <laughs> like, I'm trying to salvage this. She's just, oh my goodness. She's just, uh, yeah, a cranky little girl today. Um, so some of my favorite experience or best experiences with, hey, please, what did you just open? Oh my goodness. Okay. So some of my favorite things with skills have been um, the trial trades. It's so great to see young, oh my, you see that angry face? It's so great to see young people um, learning the trades and coming around to try different things and really just experiencing what it's like for when they're older what they can really get into and what they can be great at. Hello, hi everybody. Thank you for uh, still tuning in with Grouch over here. Um, right? Can you say your story? <sighs> Uxbridge love, yeah, Uxbridge. <laughs> the baby looks like grandpa. I feel like baby looks just like daddy. Oh my goodness. That's what everyone tells me anyway. Um, so back to skill. Can you get what I'm talking about? Um, so an essential skill, yes, is teething, by the way, and that's why it is a nightmare right now. Yes, Dad, she is so cute. I see that face, but, oh, makes hard lives. So an essential skill is an ability we use every day, no matter what trade you're in. And also, just for the record, skill trade, the umbrella of skill trade, it's not just what you think it is. When I first started working with Skills Canada, I thought that it was just Mason woodworking, carpentry, but it's actually, it's aesthetics, it's pottery, it's um, cooking. So it's all a skilled trade. It's something that 
it takes skill to master. So um, if there is a huge umbrella for skilled trades. Please don't touch. Say hi. Say hi. Thank <laughs> you. Yes. Hi. <laughs> oh my goodness. There are nine essential skills. I'm going to ask if you can guess some of them. I feel your pain. I have two kids. Yes, Patrick. <laughs> I miss you. Oh, um, it's, I don't know how you have two kids. You know, I realize it's it's pretty difficult but uh, I'll be honest and that's why you maybe have a glass of wine in the afternoon to uh, through the teething phase <sighs> okay so like I was saying look look at you you can be the only person on camera how does that feel so like I was saying there are nine essential skills and I wanted to see if some of you guys can guess them and maybe put them in the comments because it's, it's some of the things even I've forgotten we might be rescheduling the conversation. Um, so it's numeracy, oral communication, working with others. Okay, so um, this is going great. <laughs> working with others. You see, I'm trying to work with you. Okay. Um, so this has lasted an entire six minutes. It is wine 30 somewhere. I think it's definitely wine 30 for me. I wish in the U.S. that they would encourage kids at a young age to get involved in the skill trades. I think it's a thing to do because our youth doesn't understand. And like I said, I didn't understand what it was like to get like, When I was younger, I never was a bubble rock. Holly, baby. Okay, friends, I think um, I might have to postpone this Facebook Live, and I'm very sorry about it. Um, look what you're doing. Hi. Hi, Heather. How are you? You're here second, so let's try to get a couple of things out. Yeah, it's not working. So she only actually has two teeth, and that's probably why she's being such a jerk, is she has probably like eight coming in at the same time. Um, we're postponing this call and we're going to try to go to bed. And uh, I miss you too. I miss all of you. We'll be back and have a conversation another time. I'm so, 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 so yes, learning. Yes, it is. <laughs> it never does fail. It's only try. She was a good girl, but I, oh, I don't know. Okay. Baby teething. We're going to go try to put her down for a nap. This is going to have to be postponed. I'll pick an other, another day or later. And we're going to go over this conversation. And I'm probably not going to have some screen. Here, so uh, I will see you guys soon. I'm so sorry and hello. hello bye. Oh, I hope you're staying sane with your kids during this time. Have a good day. Look what you did.